All right. So I'm going to start off by asking you girls a question. Why did the B get married? If you guys know the answer, you guys can say it. I don't know. No? No. Why? Okay. Because it, uh, it found its honey. Whoa. <laughs> I know it was a bad one, but I had, I had to use it. So I'm sure you guys all know at least one way that you have used honey or can use honey. So like pancakes or, you know, maybe use chapstick or anything. And a lot of us probably do take honey for granted, but a lot of people I, like probably don't know how interesting that sticky substance actually is. So I'm going to begin by telling you guys like something noteworthy about it. So I was reading an article on, uh, New Delhi television, it's like one of India's biggest news outlets. And in the article, it was saying how due to the properties of honey, it's got like a really high acidity level. So basically it fights off any bacteria or organism that would grow and would cause honey to spoil. So essentially honey never spoils, but it has to be stored like it's got to be like airtight. So I got like a massive honey thing. I mean, I think it's, it's better if you use a, a, a jar, like a glass jar. Cause then that way you can heat it up if it crystallizes, cause it can crystallize. So you just heat it up in water for a little bit and then it, it's good. So essentially it's like good for ever. So yeah, that article is pretty, uh, pretty interesting. And there's, a, I mean, there's a lot of ways you can use honey. And here's one that a lot of people probably don't know. I mean, maybe a lot of people do, but so I was reading another article and this one's according to the Asian Pacific uh, Journal of Tropical Biomedicine. And in the article, it was saying that honey can also be used as a antiseptic. So due to its properties, like I stated before, how it fights off bacteria or kills any bacteria. If you were to apply it on a wound, so like let's say you get cut or even like a burn, you could grab the honey, put it on your wherever the wound's at, and it would like essentially just not get infected. So and it's got I think it's got a certain level of hydrogen peroxide. So it, yeah, I mean it's basically an antiseptic, a natural antiseptic, and not only can it be used as medicine, but in the past, it's also been used as uh, as currency, really. So another, or uh, uh, na- uh, based on the uh, National Honey Board, it was saying there that in 11th century Germany, the feudal lords back then would, since it was such a high commodity to have honey, because they, you know, like German beer is like so renowned, they'd use honey as a natural sweetener in their beer, and they would the feudal lords back then would basically demand payments from the peasants in forms of honey or beeswax so they would i mean they prefer they preferred honey over money in that sense so yeah it was i mean it was basically used as currency back then and here's one last interesting thing that i mean you can use honey for so one of my friends has uh his family has a bee farm just outside of town and he goes and like is a beekeeper for I think a few months out of the year during the summer. And he I was talking to him, I interviewed him, and he was saying how if you if you mi if you mix, I think it's yeast, water, and honey, but it's it's all gotta be it's a process. I don't know. I think it, he told me I think it takes like a month for it to happen, but you can make uh mead, which is uh, honey wine so yeah i mean it's it I, I think he said it takes like a month for it to actually like process and like ferment but yeah you could you can get drunk off of off of honey if you use it in the right way and i mean these are just like some of the things you could use honey for there's probably like a lot more but as i said before i mean it's just it's a really interesting substance and yeah now you guys know why the bee got married and a few more things about honey. Do you guys have any questions at all? Good job, Leo. Um, have you ever had mead before? No, but definitely gonna definitely gonna try it out now. Yeah. So does your friend make mead then? 
They have, they have, they, I mean, this is his, like, I have another one. This is his honey and it's uh block Hills honey farm, but I think they just make like, make it for like, yeah, pancakes or tea or whatever. But I think they, they have made me, but yeah, I mean, I've never tried it from them. So, yeah. Um, I work at a daycare, but something that's interesting that I didn't know that, um, apparently like babies can't have honey like their first year of life I yeah didn't... yeah cause it's like what is a it's uh i think they choke on it or something yeah. right yeah yeah they can like it can like kill them like before the year it's crazy mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> because it kills the bacteria in them oh it doesn't that's like why around too. Uh, oh, okay. oh yeah because our immune system isn't like fully yeah 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 yeah, um, yeah i did read that yep yeah. yeah. so can you buy meat in the store then I'm sure you can. I'm sure if you go to like, like, I don't know, a local market or something like that, they probably would sell it. I haven't, I haven't come across it like in the Black Hills, but like, I'm sure, I mean, they make everything. So I'm sure if you went to like the right store, they'd, you know, you could buy it. So. Okay. Yeah, any more questions, ladies? Or Mm-mm. all set? Okay. I'll stop.